Hey everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here and I've been testing the new Core i5-7600K based on the KB Lake architecture and well, here are some benchmarks. To begin with, I'm benching the 7600K, 6600K and the classic 2500K at their stock clock frequencies and I'm also rerunning the exact same tests at 4.2 GHz. Now with the 7600K, if you run this chip with XMP enabled on a Z170 or Z270 board, you should see all cores run at what is otherwise the max single core turbo. So yeah, 4.2 GHz there and as good a frequency as any for clock for clock comparisons with the other processors tested here. GPU wise, we're running each title at close to max settings with a Titan X Pascal overclock at 1080p. The idea here being to remove the graphics card as the primary limiting factor and to push CPU performance to the forefront. All processors were run with the fastest RAM that I could find and yeah it's the same sticks used on the Skylake and KB Lake processors. Memory frequencies top out at 2133 MHz DDR3 for the 2500K so that's as fast as we can push things there but the Z270 board I have here can actually push DDR4 to 4200 MHz. So the differential there between the older Sandy Bridge and the newer processors could actually be much wider. We're going to have to get in some faster RAM to see just how much wider that may be. Now we've got another 7600K video elsewhere on the channel showing the effects of faster RAM and how it affects scalability at both stock clocks and a 4.8 gigahertz overclock in place. So check that out. There are some surprising results in there. But as things stand, KB Lake and Skylake are essentially offering the same level of performance per clock. Stock clocks are faster on the new processor, so there is an uplift there. And overall, we're looking at around a 35% improvement in performance over Sandy Bridge in gaming. But once again, remember that memory is pushed as far as it will go on the older chip, while the newer processors can operate with much faster RAM. Now, I'll let the benchmarks do the talking, and we'll be back soon with a more detailed analysis on both the i5-7600K and its big brother, the mighty 7700K i7. But that's all I've got for you for now. Please do like and subscribe to support our work and I'll see you soon.
targets are reachable. Out of the way. Move. Where the hell is Duchesneau? Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You've secured the cathedral? Where, oui, monsieur? Good. Tell Sivert I'll meet him inside. Opportunities everywhere. It's on you to take it. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before Altair? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best, assassin. Fourth Street Station. Couple of clicks. We'll have to get around the kill zone first. No. Cell are closing in. There's no time to go around. The kill radius and rate of fire is within manageable parameters. We can cut straight through this. You hear that, you bastards? Yeah, I'll tell you all on, yeah, come on! Let's have you out, come on! <laughs> Are you insane? Those guns will rip you apart. Ah, so now you get the picture. They took my nanosuit, Prophet. I'm human! Human? You know how much I've sacrificed to stop the Seth. How do I get that back? So what's your plan? Support. Designate and execute targets. Intel. You do the fun stuff. That's not the psycho I used to know. Things change. <laughs> 